Here to come. You got something against the white man? Yes. Not he does. You guys took all his land. Before. You mean Indians? White men don't get to see Indians. Why don't you keep moving? Hosky, right? What's your real name anyway? Your partner wouldn't give it up. What do you want? I want in on the next one. What you got planned for that bank in Gallup? That's some major leagues there, Tonto. Sorry, there we go again. Anyway, the way I see it, you got two choices. Fed pen, or you cut me in. I'll even set you up with a new. How person. much though? Fifty percent? No. His Ten. name is Chip Woods, and he could land a bird. Chip on a Woods. Plate and a nah, I don't trust nobody named Chip. <laughs> Look, man, I could give a rat's ass about your cause, but you're good at robbing banks, and I'm good at making sure you never get caught. Well, I, I want money. White men. Me neither. That's why you and I are gonna be friends. I don't trust white men either, huh? That's what you say? That doesn't sound very patriotic of him to say that. Hi. Where are they headed? I think she said something about Canyon to Shay. Oh, because he's dirty now. He knows it. He found that out last time. No. I mean, she's pretty hot. I ain't gonna lie. Now, no one ever told him that. Uh, no. No one. <laughs> this is Officer Manuelito Copy, but you're coming in broken. No. We did say. In Silt South. Oh. 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 Oh shit, what you doing with that dynamite, man? Oh, I'm trying to blow up some stuff. I hate dynamite, it's bad news. <laughs> Wait a minute, this is the place we found the helicopter. Yeah, well, they didn't get very far. I'll be right back. No. And she's smart. She got out of there when he turned his back. Did she? Looks like it. Yeah. All right, so she's smarter than I thought. She ran, like, good job. I would have got out of there as soon as he turned his back. <laughs> you feel me? i have be like, boo. Nah, she knows what's up, bro. You let you be out for us by now. Sure, you got a checkpoint set up in and out of the res. Yeah, that's. <laughs> that's fucking weird, though, right? If you think about it. <laughs> that's dumb, Billy Ghana. What is that? I'm gonna look that up when I get done watching it. Is that like a? Is that like something? Devoted Dan. Ask him for the van. Dan? What van? He'll know the one we're talking about. That van's rocking, you still better be knocking. Okay, Flagstaff the Dan. <laughs> the Dan Dan. Flagstaff the Dan fan. Flagstaff. Blackstaff the Dan Dan. Be back before noon. Then me and my friend, and you and your two little ones will load in the back of the van and you'll drive us out of here. And we'll all live happily ever after. What if something happens? What if I don't make it back? Then only some of us will live happily ever after. Yeah, right. What if he just leaves his family? Like, fuck it. <laughs> what if he just goes to his second wife? Real shit, though, man. I mean, what if that guy thinks about it and it's like, you know what? Them kids are dead. Fuck that bitch. I'm out of here. I got another wife. I'm Mormon. Like, what if he does that? Like, he could totally just leave or go to the police. I mean, like, fuck it. Like, they're going to kill us all anyway. Like, I don't know. I wouldn't do that. I would have went and got some guns and came back and murdered all those Native Americans for that shit.
that dude, he's not a very good Native American. He's over here making noises. Nah. A real Native American would have been like, quiet like a motherfucking mouth cat. You know what I mean? <laughs> Oh shit! My ears! In that tight space, some bullets would have been sounding fucking loud in there. And this guy, the chief. Ooh, I was close to your head. Ah, oh, for real? He had one job. One job, bro. And you can't even drive. You fucking bitch. Turn again! Chief? Oh, fuck. I'm glad to see you. You're talking to you? Yeah, I don't know where they are either. Blind leading the blind. Uh-oh. What brings you back out here anyway? Cape Horn's wife called, said Joe was in trouble. You drove all the way back here to help him? He must have made quite an impression on you. He's a good uh, man. Yeah, uh -oh. a quarter. Get you a cup of coffee. Do you know why I chose you over Springer? Because you're a native? Indian. No. Uh -huh. I needed someone who'd put himself over everything else. And could speak a little Navajo. Kill him, man! Is that not a draw? Uh oh. Slow draw. You can't outdraw a white man. <laughs> Oh man, come on, that was weak, bro. <laughs> hey. That shit would have never happened to me, bro. I'd be like, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> you feel me? He's making sure he can't get out. <laughs> mm, that's pretty smart, actually. Smoking him out like that. That white boy was like, wow! Shot that dude down quick, too. I would have never went out like that. Believe that. Doctor. Oh, that's a good. That's the uh, the one that son died. A daughter got killed, I think. So he's all right then. He's good. Thought that was some bad guys got him, but no. <laughs> Your fucking family's life's are at stake, and you can't even drive straight, bro. What the fuck? Under pressure, you crack. You cracked under that. <laughs> Damn, I would have left. I'm not about to get blown up. Yeah, shoot one of them. Smart. Smart. Ooh! Nice one! Let's go! He got shot! What a loser! <laughs> but you lost your gun though! We have to get 
get out of here. Now he's shot and his leg go. Got him. In case we need him. No, they're gone. They're gone. Someone took my rifle. Man, you guys should just leave. You guys are incompetent, man. Just go. You guys are gonna go to jail now for sure. You got witnesses that are alive. You got cops that know who you are. FBI dirty, they know who they are. I mean, you just go. Just leave. Oh, now he's fucking your car up. I mean, yeah, you guys are done. It's okay. Go. Just follow the hill down the path. Go, go. They got scared. They're like, no, what the fuck? Did my light go off? Thanks for the warning. What? No, he's dirty. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Joe. I'll take that. You go stand over there. Fucking dirty ass cop. He's gonna kill all of you and take the money. That's what I would do. I'll be I taking mean, my share now. What's he talking about? You didn't tell him? Tell me what? He had the goods on us. I had to make a deal. Is they on it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. For obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. All said and done, I thought we had each other's backs. I know. Me too. I'm not feeling good about myself. <laughs> but I'm in this deep. Yeah, you are. <clears throat> Look, I'm not greedy. Why don't you take half that money and get out of here? I can't carry it all myself anyway. How do I know you're not gonna shoot me in the back? You don't. I mean, he's gonna shoot you right now. Jesus, why is he shooting everybody? Oh. Oh, I don't know. I can't say what I would do in that situation. Dirty ass cop. Can't trust him. Step away. Shoot him! Shoot him right now! If you guys don't shoot him down, you guys ain't real. Go check. Lee Point! Yeah, down here. Yeah. Here. Hey. Hey. Wow. What is that? Why don't you shot him yet? Well, that is your early retirement. Well, that's not how the Bureau's going to see it. Well, they'll think it's your cut of the crime. How's that? So I let it be known that you were a member of the Buffalo Society. Are you okay? Yeah. I just popped out of the socket. Help me out here. Yeah. Shoot him! Ready? Yeah. I would shoot him down right now. Uh, I'll shoot him down. I'm talking. I saw the file. I know. I told him to give it to you. But he's going to tell them that you took it. To cover the crimes of your Indian friends. Don't let him get that. Oh no? No, he doesn't want that promotion. What's a little more gonna hurt? You let him get too close to you, man. How much is in there? Kill him or take it all. So what's it gonna be, son? A haul like this, coupled with a conspiracy, three murders, ten to fifteen in Leavenworth. Fine to hell with it. Just. You know what, take me and you let the chips fall where they may. I had high hopes for you. And you threw it all away to solve the murder of some dying old Indian, some two-bit whore. Hell yeah. He called his wife a whore, his daughter a whore. So he shot that motherfucker. 
Good job. No one talks about my baby like that. Chi? You weren't here. Just leave the weapon. It's gonna be okay. What about the money, though? Shot him down. I wouldn't have did that. <laughs> I mean, no, he called my daughter a whore. Yeah, he got killed for that. I mean, but the money, though. Who gets the money? <laughs> oh, where do you think I was when he shot him? Five feet. Mikai shot Woodover. You're forgetting one thing. What's that? Lee Parton will know. Ah, uh, you're making me not think you're good at your job, bro. You keep getting caught somehow by these two big criminals. I'm tired. Shoulder hurts like hell. You got a bullet in your leg. You got nowhere to run. You're not taking me in. Yeah, obviously. You got me dead to rights. You gonna kill me too? Why do you have to come here? I'm trying to help our people. You <laughs> avenge the death of your son. No. My son died in an accident. You and I both know that's not the truth. Well, I'm sorry for your anger. And oh, tell him the truth rage. then. I know it. But once I came here, I knew my grandfather would protect me. Instead, he sent me back. And so you tried to burn that school to the ground. I get it. I don't blame you. I might have done the same. But it didn't give you a right to violate that girl and kill your grandfather. Guilt is a wasted emotion. But it's just a conscience. And I see that you have one. I'm gonna be a father. A martyr. Leave. You don't have to do this, James. Get out. Or die with him, bro. Go. I mean, you tried. Tell him something, though. Who's the bad guys? Who's the real bad guys? Oh, Sole. Oh, Ho ago na shadow. Do she tilk nigo na shadow. Ro. She ne ha honjo. She ya ha honjo. So there's something that we don't know yet. You know what I mean? Like his son got murdered by who? It wasn't an accident, I'm betting you. If I was blown up on purpose, and they're gonna find out like a day. I was gonna say, that can't be it, bro. They're screwing us here. Three months later, though, what happens? He has to find out some real shit. Hey, you can go to jail for that around here. Yeah, can't seem to stay out of trouble. Yeah, I heard you that's, his la that's his parents' land. That's right. Thinking about staying a while? It's crossed my mind. 
left the bureau. Yeah, I heard. What do you have planned? I haven't thought that far ahead. Probably going to work for him now. Hmm. Well, we could always use your help around here. You'd have me back? Yeah, I think I can wrap my head around it. <sighs> this place is a lot smaller than I remember. Yeah. It's a world that's gotten bigger, Chief. You got a beautiful place out here. <laughs> I mean, it is. I like to take some pictures yeah. out there. But live there? Ah, it looks hot. <laughs> I need to know what happened back at the cave. I had to protect a friend of a friend. I respect that. If I had the chance to do things differently, I would have. I messed up. But what's done is done. They excavated the cave. You said in your report that Mikai wasn't dead yet, and he shot Widow over the back when he tried to make off with the money. But then he died later. Yeah, that's what I reported. Then you and Sergeant Manuelito checked the rest of the crime scene? I did. Well, that would account for the missing money, huh? Ah! Oh. Yeah. They didn't find any money. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that? I didn't take it, if that's what you're getting at. Well, who did? I know you didn't. That money was there. I know it was. You also said there are two bodies. They only found one. The guy's missing. FBI's being pretty tight-lipped about it. But as far as the report goes, it's your word against his. I don't see him making the statement anytime soon. So you're a lucky son of a bitch. You know that? Wait, who who's where who? Who's alive? Yeah. Anyway. I gotta get back home. Is that white dude lives? Oh, is it the Indian? I can't remember the name of the guy. Could be the white guy or the Indian. But if that dude's alive. He a bad motherfucker for somehow surviving that shit and getting out of there before he got blown up. He really wanted to live. I don't see how he could be alive, though. He got shot right through the heart, it looked like. Hmm? Hmm? Subscribe.